Today, we're going to take a look at our top four infrastructure ideas. My name is Larry Tentarelli. I'm the president and founder of Blue Chip Daily Report. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at four stocks that I believe are highly ranked to take advantage of the AI infrastructure and semiconductor infrastructure build out. We're going to take a look at Caterpillar, Eaton Corporation, Vertiv Holdings, and Vistra Energy. So we'll get started. Amazon had an article about nine days ago, 10 days ago, that they're going to spend $150 billion on data centers over the next 15 years. Microsoft and Alphabet are also spending about similar amounts as what's estimated on AI data centers. So you're talking probably four to 500 billion going to be spent on AI data centers. And that's probably a conservative number over the next 10 to 15 years. Also, Bank of America put out a report a few days ago, and they expect U.S. semiconductor additions, $201 billion of projects that are going to be completed mostly between 2024 through 25, 26. So most of these projects, most of this $200 billion, is going to be completed. So once you start to add up semiconductor infrastructure, data center infrastructure for AI, you're probably talking conservatively $750 billion to a trillion dollars in projected spend. And basically what an AI data center is, is that it's a very large facility where they do all the computing for the AI build out. So I put together a focus list for our members going back to March 10th, so about a month ago, top AI data center infrastructure stocks. I put 13 stocks on the list, and today I'm going to go over four with you. So we're going to start with Caterpillar. Caterpillar is the largest heavy equipment machinery company in the world. And basically, anytime a shovel gets put into the ground or something needs to get built, we're going to see Caterpillar equipment out there. So we'll talk about the stock. Caterpillar closed yesterday, 365.63. So if we take a look at the charts on Caterpillar, it's trading in a longer term uptrend. It's trading over four rising daily moving averages, recently made a new all time high. If we take a look on the weekly time frame and we take a look on the monthly time frame, we can see that Caterpillar has broken out on all time frames. Forward PE, for those that look at valuation 16, it is considered average to fair. They're projected to grow earnings this year at 11% over the next five years, 12%. So obviously, we don't know what's going to happen in five years. But those are the projected numbers right now for Caterpillar. So steady earnings growth, reasonable valuation, nice longer term uptrend. And basically, whether it's AI data centers, if it's semiconductor uh, production facilities, whatever it is where there's some construction and heavy equipment that's involved, Caterpillar should be a beneficiary. And if we take a look at the chart, we can see that, that the market has really recognized this opportunity. So Caterpillar broke out, we'll call $300. The breakout level looks like January of this year and pretty much been straight up since then. Now, obviously, a lot of stocks are going to go the direction of the market. If the market consolidates, most stocks can consolidate. If it pulls back, most stocks can, can pull back. But when I, when I look at the overall trend for Caterpillar, it's a very, very strong uptrend over the rising 50-day moving average. And there's a lot of support on the chart between 320 to 340. So Caterpillar is a top-ranked idea. That's up about 5% since I put it on our AI infrastructure list. So company number two is going to be Eaton Corporation, also in the industrial sector. And Eaton really benefits from the entire infrastructure build out, the, the entire from A to Z uh, of the work that needs to be done. So if we just dial into their website, we can see that they cover really everything on the internals and the infrastructure end. They have a division that's specifically dedicated uh, to AI and data center build out. So, and 
really they are a key beneficiary. Everything that needs to be designed, whether it's electrical construction underneath, uh, Eaton is a prime beneficiary. And if we take a look at the chart, very similar to the Caterpillar chart, a, a leading stock. So we can see Eaton Corporation recently made a new all-time high. So I've got a position in Eaton and I also have a position in Vertiv Holdings, which we'll take a look at in a few minutes. But Eaton Corporation, over four rising daily moving averages, recent new all-time highs, longer term uptrend. We can see the weekly is in a very strong uptrend. Monthly is in a very strong uptrend as well. And if we take a look forward PE for those that look at valuation, 27 times forward earnings. They're projected to go grow earnings this year at 43%. So I don't really use valuation as a metric. I focus on the technicals. I do look at sales growth. I do look at earnings growth. I like to see positive sales growth accelerating, accelerating earnings growth. But for those that look at valuation, generally, if the, if the forward PE is lower than the projected earnings growth rate, then that's generally considered to be a fairly valued stock as far as that goes. But Eaton Corporation, also in the industrial sector, nice longer term uptrend and should be a key beneficiary from this continued infrastructure build out. Company number three is a little bit more specialized. So Vertiv Holdings, they specialize really in the heating and cooling aspect of the data centers. And uh, data centers use a, a tremendous amount of energy they generate a tremendous a lot of heat and Vertiv Holdings is really, if we dial into their products and services, critical power, thermal management, racks and enclosures, monitoring and management, and then services. So Vertiv Corporation is, is really integral to this, the entire infrastructure build out for these data centers. And if we take a look at the stock, and I've got a position in Vertiv as well. This is one of the strongest stocks in the market right now. Year to date, it's up 74%. Over the past year, it's up 580%. But what's notable is even though the stock is up 580% over the past 12 months, earnings year over year over the past 12 months are up 494%. So the stock is basically following the earnings higher this year, they expect a big increase in earnings. So 290 versus 118. And if I check my notes, it looks like that is 145% projected earnings growth this year. Forward PE of 28. It's really one of my favorite stocks in any sector. And we can see while the chart appears to have gone vertical, which it has, the earnings have also gone vertical and trading at 28 times forward earnings. So my view with, with Vertiv and most of these stocks is if they just meet the earnings expectations, then these uptrends uh, should be expected to continue. Once again, they can be subject to shorter term market volatility, but we can see Vertiv closed yesterday over five rising moving averages, uptrend on multiple time frames. It's a leader year to date in the market overall. And then finally, we're going to take a look at Vistra Energy, which is a utility stock that trades like an AI stock due to their exposure to nuclear power. AI data centers use a tremendous amount of electricity and nuclear power is considered one of the better ways to get that electricity quickly. So Vistra Energy is the largest competitive power generator in the United States. They're, they're really key to supplying power and energy. And if we take a look at the stock, we can see Vistra in the utility sector up 81% year to date. This is also one of the strongest stocks in the market. And as I said, trading like an AI stock because it's got so much AI exposure. So forward PE is 14. Looks like the earnings growth projected this year is 36%. Uptrend over four rising daily moving averages, weekly breakout, monthly breakout. And once again, EPS year over year over the trailing 12 months, 211%. So the stock is up 
And somebody might look at the chart and say, well, you know, the stock's extended or the stock's overbought, but it's up 184%. 12 month earnings are up 211%. So the stock really even hasn't caught up yet to the earnings growth. So what, what we're taking a look at with these four stocks are four stocks that regardless of if it's Amazon that spends the money or if it's Meta or if it's Alphabet or if Nvidia wins the chip money, if AMD wins it, regardless of where this artificial intelligence money goes to, these are the companies that, that really are literally selling the picks and shovels for the AI build out and for the data center build out. So these have been year to date beneficiaries. Investors have been benefiting. Earnings have been growing rapidly. And these are four of our top ideas. There are 13 on the list. If you'd like to join our website, bluechipdaily.com is our website. We've got a 30 day free trial. You can get full access to all of our members benefits. I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you online shortly. Welcome to Blue Chip Daily, one of the industry's premier sources for high-level daily technical and trend analysis. Blue Chip Daily is ideal for both investors and traders of all time frames who want to be on the right side of major market moves and trends. We focus on over 750 large cap stocks, all major stock indices, over 70 exchange traded funds, bonds, oil, gold, and Bitcoin. Sign up now for Blue Chip Daily and you will get access to real-time portfolio alerts, premium Twitter page with intraday alerts and commentary, the chart of the day with best idea, daily video and report, and much more. Claim 30-day trial at www.bluechipdaily.com.